So my first question for you is, this is your first major television role since Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Did you do anything special to prep for it? And what drew you to this character? Uh, did I do anything special to prepare for this character on With Love? Um, not, I mean, I think <laughs> this is gonna sound very, I'm just gonna say it. I, I added another visit to the gym per week for myself. <laughs> Because, you know, I mean, I, I, I actually mean that, but, um, but, you know, we're, we're in the middle of a pandemic. So um, I was really hurting, man. I was just so down and depressed and like missing people, missing, missing friends and missing telling stories, doing plays and things like that. So, so like uh, when I, when actually we got to filming, um, I was already like doing home workouts and things like that and um, taking acting classes and training and working with various acting coaches and um, and reading a lot of books on mindset and mental health and, and awareness because I was dealing with the pandemic. And then when With Love came along, I read the script and I, I just thought this is really heartwarming and this this is unique. Like I've never seen these kinds of characters interacting in this way before. And then I read the scenes and I just felt like, oh my gosh, like you wrote a Filipino character, you wrote a Filipino knight in shining armor in a holiday rom-com, which growing up, I just saw a bunch of white people, <laughs> you know? So, so like I get to, I get, I get to be a Philip, you know, I represent the Filipino community and the LGBTQ community, trans community, queer community by playing a bisexual character. And also cast members are playing queer characters and trans characters and we have non-binary characters and, and actors, performers, um, you know, so we, we covered so much ground and we, we really like got to have these, we got to amplify these voices of, of these unsung or on um, not as represented people, you know, in real life, but we got to we got to shine light on them on on screen, and that's one of the things Gloria really wanted to do, is 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 have more representation and more diversity, inclusivity in a show. Not because you need to, but it is an important aspect of how we progress forward as a society, and we've been so challenged the last two years. You know, not only do we need something that shows us hope that is aspirational, but we also need something that's just gonna make us feel good and like laugh and just remember like the joys of being alive. Um, and, and, that's, and that's partly like why Gloria wrote it. I mean, she, she, it, was a, it was somewhat of a response to the pandemic and like, what will people need? And so, um, you know, they'll need to feel cared for and they'll wanna feel joy and they'll wanna, you know, go, you know, like acknowledge the sadness and the ups and the downs, but ultimately they want to feel loved. They want to belong, you know, and that's what our show has. And it's, it's just filled with that. And like, hope, hopefully you guys, the audience, well, not hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure like the audiences will feel that virtual hug come through the screen. Oh, very because, much. Cause that's what we felt when we were filming it. <laughs> so you touched on it a little bit, but my next question for you is, you know, Henry is bisexual and we see with him deal with, I wouldn't say necessarily biphobia, but we see him deal with a little bit of that in a big way in episode one. So how does it feel to be a part of furthering bisexual representation and breaking down stigmas further? I mean, I feel very proud as a, as a, as a gay man. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I was bisexual in high school because I thought, you know, because I was dealing with my own sexuality and, and then realizing that I'm actually gay, like that was a huge stepping point for me. So for me to be able to, uh, um, lend my hand or be of service to playing this character and, and bring some of my personal experience and knowledge to it was an honor and 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 also something that I'm not used to experiencing. Um, I've heard from a lot of actors, because uh, I get a lot of messages from people like, hey, are you getting seen for things? Because like Asian actors aren't as getting seen for things or, you know, there's a lot like, well, I'm gay, so I can't audition for straight parts. And and I, I hear you, like, and, and that was me uh, in New York when I was there for like 11 years trying to pursue a career on Broadway. Um, it's, uh, it's tough, you know, having people like kind of pigeonhole you or, or, or put you in a category that they made and has nothing to do with who you actually are or what you, what, cap what you're capable of or what you aspire to be. Um, so I felt, I felt, I did feel that responsibility, Kate, in, in playing this part. Um, and I also felt 
it felt very, um, it just felt special to me. Like I, I felt so much love and affection for Henry and for, um, for our, you know, our queer, uh, transgendered LGBTQ brothers and sisters. You know, we're, it, it's, it's like when you're, when you're part of a group of people that are, that are, that are underrepresented and, and you're also noticing like story-wise, you're seeing like these themes of, you know, mar people being marginalized and, and, but yet, because the glory is behind it, we're just kind of like subverting and like really bringing to the surface how we're actually more alike than we think. And there's a lot of realities out there right now that are not being depicted on screen. And and one of the and a, one of the many realities is joy, is you know like interracial couple joy or you know, um, uh, homosexual, cis, cis gender, um, uh, monogamy, uh, you know, uh, you know, cause, cause we, that, that gets touched upon in, in that scene in the first episode of Noche Buena, where my, where my character, where Henry gets asked to explain bisexuality to a room full of Latinos at a Noche Buena party, which just, made me cringe i still feel awkward about it you right now but uh but that's because we we, we know what that feels like we, you, maybe you were in the room maybe like you didn't want to have that conversation um so we we can all relate to that and we can all relate to having you know a generational gap and being asked questions that might seem inappropriate but can come from a healthy uh, uh loving but still curious place. And um, so that gets explored in our show, which is very refreshing. And like I said, it adds to the aspiration and the inspirational aspect of our show on top of the, this just heartwarming, love-filled journey that you get to see all our characters go through, no matter where, what background they come from, what sexual preference they have, or what generation they belong to.